Okay, the uh, the next uh, greenhouse to show uh, is uh, for growing um, vegetables, and in this case, it's um, a growing of uh, spring onion, as you see here, uh, with a drip irrigation system that each row has. Uh, sorry, each bed has six rows, as you see here, and um, with the same drip pipe, one, two, three drip pipes, you have the uh, two rows that are irrigated actually with the same uh, drip pipe, and uh, the distances between uh, the drippers uh, are uh, I will try to bring it uh, closer. Uh, each, um, the distances between the drippers, this is one dripper, and this is the next dripper, it's 15 centimeters. So uh, the distances between the drippers are suitable also for uh, the onion. And in this case, the onions uh, were planted, transplanted, not sown directly and uh, in this case uh, uh, we can locate the plants actually the transplants and I will show you from close how they are located and these are actually uh, these are this this is uh, one plant and you can see even the media the substrate uh, of the plant how it was prepared in the nursery and bring here uh, to be planted. And another thing that is in interesting, it's not only one plant in each uh, uh, transplant. Uh, it's uh, about uh, 10 um, uh, plants, seedlings, inside each transplant in order to uh, have the compensation of uh, not continuous row. Instead of having continuous row uh, full with plants, here it's concentrated uh, only uh, to uh, nearby the drippers uh, to show uh, that uh, the 10 plants uh, it's uh, as compensation uh, instead of having uh, one plant each one each one centimeter here we have 10 plants every 15 centimeters uh, almost to uh, have the compensation uh, when we are using the drip irrigation uh, system and in general the greenhouse uh, is arranged to have uh, again, the same uh, system of uh, uh, rows, and when we reach uh, here the uh, the uh, uh, service pathway that workers can go through. I mean, uh, this is uh, uh, for walking, and uh, workers can uh, spray or can uh, reach the plants easily uh, from this point and can support, of course, the. Uh, 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 the plants can treat them if it's necessary and in the uh, upper upper side you may see the sprinklers as well also the sprinklers uh, this is the sprinkler uh, to support irrigation cooling and uh, uh, enriching the humidity atmosphere of uh, the greenhouse to reduce also the uh, load of heat in the greenhouse uh, and the same envelope of a greenhouse covered with uh, the, uh, the insect proof net and the sides as well. So all the greenhouse is covered uh, with uh, nets and the door with the same system we mentioned before with the four curtains in order to have the entrance and exit uh, from it. I will just demonstrate. This way, the, uh, the, uh, the greenhouse can be protected totally and uh, sealed uh, for any um, uh, insects. Even if uh, by accident any uh, hole will be caused in the greenhouse, in the uh, net, uh, immediately we can seal it with another piece uh, of net and to have the 
uh, the totally sealed um, uh, areas without any leaking uh, of uh, uh, holes that may bring insects inside the greenhouse. And as we saw before, the drip irrigation system connectors, and you may see here the connectors, are very uh, clear, very easy to see them, and they are uh, 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 connected with each drip pipe that this drip pipe, of course, is leading to the end of the lines that is about 50 meters. And this is here, in this case, sandy soil, uh, but still uh, using the drip irrigation system is very efficient, very useful, very friendly, and can give nice and good results uh, as well. The injection of fertilizers is done also by the drip irrigation system. I'll try to show you also. Good, so uh, I would like to show you, uh, this is uh, the main connection to the cooperative of water. It's uh, two inches. And this uh, uh, connection uh, is given to two uh, uh, farmers. Uh, one farmer here is growing the, uh, I can show you, the olive plantation. And you see the fruits. It's uh, almost uh, ready for harvest. And the second farmer that is growing the onions we saw before. So actually, uh, this is the two inches and it's divided to two farmers, this is the first and this is the second. If we follow uh, the farmer or with the olives, we will see that uh, there is a valve of uh, two inches and then it's coming to the water meter. This is the water meter and then uh, the connection uh, for the uh, uh, fertilizers uh, and uh, uh, then the dozer. This is the dozer we saw before. Uh, and this is the uh, other connection for the fertilizers, then valve, then filter. This is very important uh, section for drip irrigation system. This is a uh, kind of old filter that will uh, lead later on to, uh, to the uh, main pipe that will take to the irrigation system. Um, so actually, uh, this is, these are the main component uh, of uh, such uh, system. I will show another one as well. Uh, and this is the barrel uh, with uh, 90 uh, liters actually. And this barrel has uh, the, uh, the uh, connections. This is the out, this is the in, and uh, it has uh, uh, lead uh, with pressure that uh, then will provide also uh, the uh, dissolved and diluted uh, fertilizers into uh, the system actually that I'm going uh, to show. Uh, so this is actually uh, the system. It's uh, kind of protected uh, against uh, damages with tractors. Uh, so uh, this is the in and the out. Uh, uh, this is the in, this is the out uh, of the fertilizers. Uh, so the fertilizers will come uh, uh, through this pipe and will be injected. Then there is the filter inside and then the valve uh, and uh, the, the pressure meter that you see here. Uh, and later on, uh, the three valves for three uh, irrigation sections inside this, this greenhouse that it's almost uh, 3,000 square meters. So for each 1,000 square meter, there is one uh, valve to be controlled. It's uh, manual and can be operated uh, also um, uh, uh, by computer. For the meantime, only the installation for the computer, it's ready to be shifted in, in any time. Uh, 